Hello everyone, welcome to Crazy Party Part 2. In this part, we're going to do the underground. I don't think we're going to have time for the beach because I only have about 40 minutes. But we are going to do the underground. And if I have time, the beach. Folder view list. OBS Studio 35. Uh, G. Game list. G. G. Games shortcut. Games window. C. Castaway. Clash of. Crazy Party Beta 73. Crazy Party know. Beta 75. Oh, Items view list. C. Selected. C. Oh, huh. Items view list. C. Change list. C. Crazy Party dot exe four. Change list. Crazy Party dot exe four of. Oh, I just don't know. I wonder if I cut off appropriate. Okay. Crazy Party Beta seventy five. Main menu. See, it just puts in the main menu. Base. Now, Play the adventure. First of all, we're gonna turn the music down. Hey, something is wrong with the battle quest. There's something called the battle quest. Play, Play the battle quest. Here. Play the battle quest. Make exit. You just Play the adventure. That. I don't know why. Play the adventure. But World. anyway, let's forget. The castle, uh -huh. the forest, the underground, the beach, uh, the, the underground. underground. Zero victories. Zero In the first the game, I hear Zero victories. Literally Zero. Uh. Searching for pheromones. Sleep mode on. Huh. Sleep mode. No ducking. Sleep mode on. You have successfully managed to enter an anthill, but the guards are ferociously pursuing you. In order to stop this dangerous harassment, you should find the pheromones office so that the guards understand you're not an intruder. Luckily, oh. you can smell the office from far away. Just press D and you'll know how so much distance you need to walk to get into it. But if you're caught by a guard, the game will be over. This game is played from above. So and and pheromones office. Pheromone. Right. So let's go. You don't tell me how far, not which direction you have to go. 42.15, 37.58, 33.12. 28.84 uh -oh. 28.35 18.81 10 Oh, okay. Oh, thank god. I heard that from this Your score is 20 points. So, before the hand popped out of nowhere, I heard that. This game has now been unlocked. Good. Bye, you now have 30 coins. A new path is opening to the north. A new path is opening to the east. Oh, the north path. This game I actually like unlike others. The Queen's Treasures. I mean, some people hate this game, which I understand, but I really like this game. You just discovered the treasures gallery of an ant colony. Explore this gallery running from south to north, visiting the narrow corridors that cross it to enter the different rooms that often contain precious bonus items. Yay! Sounds peaceful. No. Not as you're expecting. Be careful, as the ants patrol the area, and if you are caught, the adventure will come to an end. Of course, this game is played from above. Patrol Press everybody. the numbers in order. So, and. So now, the way I do this game is the little ball strategy. Prepare the ant across. Or the special across. Whoa! No, what? But. Your score is zero points. Happened. Okay, hang on, I'll show you that game later. Because now it's all played again, I believe. You didn't win nor lose any points. You now have 30 points. Yeah, the I got treasures. Play. Searching for parallel. Well, too bad. Anyways. Descent into the mine. Okay, this game is really cool, but it's really like, not good at it. You are driving a little train slumping down into one of the dwarf's mines. Slumping down. Your goal is to take the right direction in each given curve. Hopefully you can hear a buzzer in the direction you must take, and all you need to do is to press the corresponding arrow, not either right hopefully. or left. Alas, there's only one correct path, and your journey will come to an end as soon as you make your first mistake or are too late to react. Yeah. Be careful. Press enter when you're ready. Ah, uh, so you just hear a beeping and right or left and you have to the corresponding arrow. Okay. That's alright. I don't want to keep this alone. I'm not sure I'm doing this. But if you get more than 20, you get a really cool game. I'm out of practice, so I don't know if I can do that. I hope so, that if I do that, I can give you loads of fun. Uh, can we really 
carried away. I tried to watch this video. Okay. But it's one of those games, though, okay? Score is 18 points. Oh no! Just one thing. This game has now been unlocked. Oh well, that the game you gets without is something called digging for bonuses. You now have 48 points. A new path is opening to the east. But I guess we're gonna. Diamond mine. Oh god, this game is not that good. Some dwarves hired you to collect diamonds laying in several previously made galleries. I don't want to. Sounds easy. But anyway. Well. Just be aware that while diamonds are worth a lot in general, some of them are nothing but garbage. Run therefore through the mine galleries, grab only the valuable diamonds by pressing the F key, then head to the south to drop them at the counter to be verified. Please remember that you can't carry too many diamonds, press mm. the D key to know how many you, you have collected. Make, uh, this fine. game is played from above. So. Diamond, bad ones have a relatively lower or higher sound. Diamond, bad ones have- But unlike the, the mushroom game, this is not that easy. Diamond, bad ones have a relatively low- Diamond, so, bad ones have a relatively- yeah, weak point. You take the diamond. I think it's a good one. Oh. You take the diamond. No. No, get away from me, fake. Sometimes there are also counters all the way to the north up here. You take the diamond. Like I believe now. Oh, no, we still there right now. 137 seconds. Come on, let's see how many of this. You have three diamonds in your hands. Oh, good one. Minus 20 points. I hope none of them are bad ones. I can't lose any more points. Oh, by the way, I also got damage extreme, which is a game I'm going to be covering on YouTube as soon as I figure it out. Like Battle Rooms, a game from me. Game Mad is interactive, but this is not the rest of the game. 110 like seconds. I'm just saying that for people who are familiar with that game. Oh. You take the diamond. Oh, that's what I'm saying. You take the diamond. Right. You have five diamonds in your hands. So now let's go. The moment of truth, guys. The moment of truth. 89 seconds. You have deposited five good diamonds. You win 20 points. Yay! 84 seconds. Well, you look at that. Zero points. So now we just get one more diamond. A pulse is annoying game. You take the diamond. And actually get 20 on the miracle. You take the diamond. We get to see a pretty You take the diamond. Meh. Okay, game. You take the diamond. But I can't believe because we're really marking up day where it's so slow. 50 seconds. Zero points. I hate my stuff, dude, for this exact reason. Sorry, but it's true. Even when it's pushing it up to NVIDIA's max speed. It's a time sensitive text space. Okay, that's all I can tell you. 33 seconds. Or oh, hurry. Zero points. I have 28 seconds. The goal. The everything. You have four diamonds in your hands. I mean, oh no, but yeah. You have deposited four good diamonds. Good. You win 16 points. Oh, good. You take the diamond. Good. Come on. 15 seconds. You have deposited one good diamonds. You win four points. Yeah, 20 look points. at that. 20 points. I'll show you that game. Though I'm going to be terrible at it because I'm terrible at these games in general. Your score is 20 points. This game has now been unlocked. So I'm very relieved that I got that. Earlier I used to hate that game, but I almost points. got a minus score. Always. You now have 68 points. A new path is opening to ease. So now, down here. Yes. 
Railroad management. Railroad management. Oh god. Do I have to? A dwarf engineer is challenging you to correctly direct some mineral filled wagons through a railroad divided into several sections. I don't want the course to. consisting of several parallel tracks, you'll need to choose a starting track so that the wagon reaches its destination on the track he indicated. However, in each section there may be a bifurcation that the wagon must take. Oh, must Study the plan in depth in order to correctly identify the starting track. Alright. Good luck. Press enter when you're ready. So there are things which the thing must take, which in way it'll get moved around a lot. Okay. Now let's see here. Round one. The wagon has four parallel roads and is divided into four sections. The wagon should end its trip on road three. Here's okay. the plan. On section one, there's a referral from road three to road two. On okay. section one, there's a referral from road four to road three. Okay. On section two, there's a referral from road two to road three. On section Good. three, there's a referral from road one to road two. On section three, there's a referral from road three to road two. On section four, there's a referral from road two to road three. On section four, there's a referral from road four to road three. The wagon should end its trip on road so three. Which start road on you choose to be the wagon three? starting one? Use the numpad keys to choose. The wagon is starting on road three. Because on section one, the wagon goes on road three to road two. Oh, I can't hear my voice. On section two, the wagon goes on road two to road three. Okay, as planned. Section three, the wagon goes from road three to road two. Uh, on section four, the wagon goes from road two to road three. Oh, uh, look at that. The wagon arrives on destination at road three. Yay! You win ten points. Round two. Okay, cool. Now. The wagon has three parallel roads and is divided into five sections. Okay, good. The wagon should end its trip on road two. Okay. Here's the plan. On section one, there's a referral from road one to road two. Right. On section one, there's a referral from road two to road three. On section oh. two, there's a referral from road one to road two. On section two, there's a referral from road three to road two. All on right. section three, there's a referral from road two to road three. On section three, there's a referral from road three to road two. All on right. section five, there's a referral from road one to road two. On section five, there's a referral from road two to road one. On section five, there's a referral from road three to road two. All the right. should end I think on. I think three. The wagon is starting on road three. Um, I'm not sure. See, the time was running out. Wagon stays on road three. Oh no 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 no. On section two, the wagon goes from road three to road two. No, I think I made a mistake here. Still, the time was getting old. Wagon goes from road two to road three. That's why I hate playing this game with my just gave it. On section four, the wagon stays on road three. Come on, please, please. On section five, the wagon goes from road three to road two. Yay! Thank God. I think I studied it long enough. It arrives on destination at road two. You win 10 points. Your score is 20 points. Oh cool! Yay! This game has now been... Now we got a really cool game instead of the boring horses. You won 20 points. I'm sorry, we're ready to find that game. You now have 88 points. A new path is opening to the north. And using NVIDIA instead of my slowest Microsoft David is way better. And I love this game by the way. Not this game, but the game we're coming up to. Run. Jump. Jump. Yes, run, jump, jump. What could you do? You're rolling away so fast that you cannot control your speed and direction. Rolling? Your path is filled with bonus items, but also with deadly chasms. Jump over the ladder by pressing the space bar, for this is the only thing you can do right now. If you fall, even just once, then the game is over for you. This game is played yeah. from above. Press the numbers in order to heal. So, chasm. It's a chasm, and you know, bonus items. I'm not that good at this game. It's very reflex taking. You win one point. No, I already pressed it. Your score is one point. Oh, whatever. Forget it, man. That game is really cool, but I really don't do. You well won one point. You now have eighty-nine. So let's go. Um, like I said, I will be coming back and unlocking every Real single game. Up. At least I'll be trying. Don't expect success with that because the game has quite a few games. But the cannonball slope. Oh, cool. This is a hell actually. No, I'll explain this after. The road goes straight forward, but the slope is extremely strong, and you will have to climb it. The difficulty doesn't reside in its declivity, but rather in the falling cannonballs that you have to avoid by moving left or right. Why are they cannonballs? If one of them hits you, you will be taken down to the starting point. This game is played from above. Um, Press enter when. So, yeah, the rolling rumbling things are cannonballs. But why are they cannonballs in. Um, just a peaceful slope. And the slope incline means you go slower. That's why I mentioned that. Let's 
paper 20 on this game. No! I went the wrong way, I knew You're it. Your starting point. 23 seconds, 12 points. Oh well, whatever, I'm not doing it. Getting a 20 year old actually takes a path to run, jump, jump. Yeah. 13 so, seconds, 12 points. Yes. I want to show that off, but I guess I can't. 7 seconds, 12 points. 12 points, 12 points, 12 points, 12 points. Your score is 12 points. Oh, okay. Okay. This game has now been unlocked. I mean, it was much of crazy points. parties content as I can. Now have 101 points. A new path is opening to the north. But first, let's just get done with all the worlds. The chasm's cave. You know an analogy which I thought up. Oh, I'm gonna tell you I'm going to play this game because I'm boring. You will have to cross a cave littered with lethal obstacles. You must jump over numerous chasms by pressing the space bar with the corresponding arrow key, but be careful to avoid the bats flying around and not to jump while one is flying over your head, because you'll then be bitten and will have to start from the beginning. All right. This game is played as a side scroller. No. Press the numbers in order to so. chasm. And bat. Those squeaky and one thing the bats and those echoing wind like things are chasms. Now you do not jump and tap the arrow key in this game, you jump and hold it. It's like you're walking. Actually, I have an edge one, which is cool. Okay, now I was saying that um, an analogy which I thought of somehow, something I think we all need to learn from, is that if you're painting five layers of paint on a wall, you don't start with putting five layers in every single inch and going like that. You put the first layer, then the second layer, then the third layer, then the fourth layer, then the fifth layer. It looks like that if you want a project to be extremely detailed, and you can start with the lowest, start with getting the project into completion. Then, like you add additional layers of paint, you can add additional layers of detail. Ah, uh, cool, huh? No. Okay. Yeah, I know it's not that cool, but I was thinking of that when I was working on something. Hmm? And I thought, don't worry. Like my shadow rank, guys. That's what I thought about that. Your score is 20 points. Oh, and when in 19, I just make a text guide for shadow rank. It's. This game has now been unlocked. Um, I'm going to link to that later. You won 20 points. So make a shadow rank place. You now have 121 <laughs> points. The new path is opening to the east. Don't feel like putting in a crazy party description because it's not crazy the party. Chasm. Oh, God, I hate this game. You find yourself at the bottom of a chasm. Luckily, there's a ladder that you can climb to get out. Okay, good. You simply have to press the up arrow key to climb. Avoiding the bats moving from left to right as being bitten would result in you being sent straight back to the beginning. Right. This game is played as a side scroller. Press the numbers in order. So, remember, those are bats. And yeah, they keep flying over and over around your head. You have to make sure not to get bitten. Back to your starting point. 11 seconds. 13 points. And the cool thing is you can walk around the chasm. I don't know why you want to do this. 13 points. Hey, you can. Your score is 13 points. I only showed that because there's no way I could get up there again. This game has now been unlocked. You won 13 points. Yeah, I have a bit of a big goal of getting on the game points. A new path is opening to the north. The path's and you understand why it's a big goal. Doors. Button doors. Later on. This game is really easy. Most this dungeon of kind of thing is being crossed by some superposed paths, and there are ladders letting you move from one to the other. It is just impossible to cross the entirety of the dungeon by just moving, because each path is filled with many walls and doors. For walls, nothing can be done, but for each door, you must find and activate the button which opens it so that you can proceed deeper into the place. Yeah, Happy cool. crossing. This game is played as a side I like scroller. This. Press the numbers. 
This is a button, and if activated, its sound will be much faster. This yeah. is a door, and if opened, its sound will be much faster. Yeah, this, this is supposed means, to... This sound means that you can get... This is a door, and if... If I am supposed to get doors... This is a button. But we want to be the class of horses. So now let's go. The way I do this is... I don't, I don't hear anything down here, so it's probably not bad. Alright, so the door is down there. I mean, the button must be up here. Oh no, the door is up here. 100 Which seconds, means... minus 14 points. So where's the button? 95 it seconds. It's somewhere down here after all. But it's not, hang on. So maybe I have to climb up left. I'm putting a 20 on the super messing up. Okay, here it is. No, 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 no. 76 oh. seconds. 76 okay, seconds. Okay, the door is opening. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Minus 14 points. Caveat. Zero points. Oh, no, no, no. That's just online game. 62 it seconds. See. It doesn't really work in single player. 55 seconds. Okay, down here. I wish I could drop off ladders. 47 seconds. Minus 5 points. Oh, wait, no, look. I'm going seconds. to get a minus 5 on purpose because I want to get a 20 on this game and show you guys the bonus game after that. So I'm going to get a minus 5 here on purpose because I don't think I can make it to 20. So I don't want to try and risk it because if you get a minus score, you can always replay the game. If you get a positive score, you can never replay the game. So I'm just gonna sit here and I also need to show you some very interesting features later on which I think you'll like and those are, in those that rule is kind of different which is why I mentioned those now so your score is minus five points. I did on purpose I don't think I'd ever intentionally get a minus on this game. I'm you not lost bad, bad, whatever I am. You now have 129 points. Let's go. This dungeon kind of... And let me not get confused this time. I think I heard a button. The door is opening. Now let's go. Oh, it's up there. 112 seconds. So I'm doing so much better this time. Door is opening. So good. A door is opening. I'll find a button. Eighty seven seconds. A door is opening. And why do you want to cross the dungeon in here? It's even beyond me. Fifteen points. Okay, the door is open. 75 right? seconds. I mean, the button might be up here, yes. The door is opening. It's really 68 easy. 68 seconds. I mean, I don't think anyone would in the right mind get a minus score. 19 points. 19 points. Not an insult if you do, I just. I That's can't do it. That's my luck. Your score is 20 points. This game has now been unlocked. You won 20 points. So let's go now. You now have 149 points. A new path is opening to the east. A new path is opening to the west. Let's go, guys. The locked bonuses. The locked bonuses. You just discovered some underground galleries that certainly contain the forgotten treasures of an ancient king. Alright. But these treasures are made inaccessible by several closed doors, and fortunately some buttons are placed here and there to open them. But which button opens which door? That's what you gotta solve. This game is played. Okay, so buttons and this doors. Is a button, and um, you shall go around pressing buttons and go around entering doors, I guess. Um, so let's go. I'll try my strategy first game, which really doesn't work that well. And that's a sandbin, not a bunch of buttons. Opening. I think the water slows you down. Hurry up. Oh! Huh? 
this opening. One hundred and forty seconds, zero points. No, no, we need five more buttons. Okay, uh, where do I have to find some buttons? Seconds. Oh, I thought I saw North Pass in North Pass back there. Zero points. Oh, so this water there, it must be the North Passage. I have a water there, it must be in the West Passage. 109 seconds. The door is opening. So let's go for the sand button. You know that I passed dead end, that's counting on it. I don't know it Oh, I opened it. You win one point. You win five points. You win one point. Ninety-one seconds. We sound the treasure of the castle will be mine. Seven points. So clever little button has hidden. Huh. This is what we not on the other side of the So let's go up there again. Let's go. Oh, what? I don't think we went the right way, but at least we found some buttons. The door is opening. And the door! In two seconds, you win one point. You so win actually points. open. You win three points. Cool. Now, I don't think we're still on our side of the water. So I'm not. Windows, maybe more buttons. 15 points. Oh, boy! Door is opening. Sorry guys, I need to do a lot better than this. You win one point. You win two points. You win two points. I don't know. I think it's something every points. YouTuber faces. How can you know the wonderful at a game as soon as they record the luck goes off? Oh, it's an empty room. Seconds. Twenty points. Your score is 20 Not 20. I usually can get 30. This game has now been unlocked. This is my sentry skill to kind of off after not having played you the game for You now have 169 long. points. A new path is opening to the west. Box. A box? Cool. They don't give me nothing. No! Oops. The box is empty. You didn't win nor lose any points. You now have 169 points. Box. Oh, the lock bonuses. The lock bonuses. Button doors. And the circus. Circus. You have unlocked the world, the circus. Level I like complete. this world. The party is ending. Uh, it is now time to calculate the scores. You get the object gem, X1, for a total of four. What is the time? Um, Alexa? What's the time? The time is 7.21. Oh no, it's almost 7.30. Your Sorry. performance allows you to add one to your money box. I'd love to do more in this recording, but I really Play can't. The Exit. I'm mean, supposed to go at 7.30, so... Um, I will be back right as soon as 7.30 is over. And, Crazy party beta and 75. I'll go ahead and record everything then. I will record the beach today though. And maybe... The factory as well. Um, uh, sorry about that, that was just, I don't know what that was. Uh, just got distracted for a second, yeah. I'll also be recording the factory, I think, today. OBS 26. OBS so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, etc. I'm sorry about that last part, because I'm still a bit sleepy. So yeah, thanks for watching and bye.